Hey y'all, Rhonda here. Well, this is usually how it happens. I can't find something. I get mad because I have to pull stuff out to get to something and, or I'm spending too much time looking for something. Okay, you know, in um, a video or two ago, we talked about uh, organizing stencils. And I'm glad to see that it's inspired some of you guys to go out and organize your stencils. And um, so today, I'm working on a journal that I'm very excited about and um, I needed some embossing powder yes we all have not that we have too much we just have lots of choices right and let me show you my choices I know, right? And I know some of you can relate. A lot of you can relate. So I'm, I'm turning all these over. You know, what color? I need a rich color. I don't want sparkly. And I'm, you know, doing this. And it's like, I'm spending more time doing this than I should be. So I got the bright idea. <clears throat> this is going to take... A short amount of time compared to what it takes when I have to go hunt every time right I mean if we actually timed ourselves when we are hunting for something looking for something that we know we have that's just right there we would get on this I promise so what I'm doing is <clears throat> and you know all the different companies have their own gold their own, you know, pearlescent, whatever. And they're all a little bit different. Some of them are thick, some of them are fine, some of them are ultra fine as far as um, um, the colors and the thickness and, and all of that. So I went through, I was mad, found me a heavy cardstock, a one inch circle punch, and I cut out a bunch of little bitty circles. Okay, it didn't take any time. I mean, just bam, bam, bam. I was done. So what I'm doing is I have my Versamark. I'm dipping this in here, getting it nice and, and juicy and um, ready to go in the embossing powder. Then I'm heating it up and I have my little sample. So I'm going to take a, a little glue dot or somehow um, and put it on the top. I may see if I can get that off because this is the black ultra thick embossing enamel. Um, or I may even make another little circle and put the ultra thick on there. But that way I can see exactly what it is. This one has a little sparkly in it. So I'm going to tape it down. This is sterling blue. But, you know, when you look at this, you just don't really know, right? And, I mean, here's a gold and here's a gold. Different companies. And they even melt differently, you know. So that's what I've been doing. <clears throat> here's a little pearlescent. I don't know if you can see the pretty pink and blue in it. But, you know, you can't tell that by this. It's just white powder oops so that's what I'm doing <clears throat> and some of these two um, that have the chunky this is power um, power keg does it say oh here uh, gilded ivory so I'm assuming that it's going to be gold and ivory you can see the different colors in there but really, what's it going to look like? Let's find out. So you want to use a pair of tweezers that you don't mind getting dirty. Okay, I couldn't find the ones that I normally use for this, so I had to get these, which I'm not happy about, but I want to get it done. I'm in that mood. <clears throat> All right. So we have our embossing powder. And I'm just taking this and just smushing it on the top because I want a really good coverage. 
let it soak in there for a minute. And then you can see the kind of this shiny on it, so you know it's covered. Put your lid back on there, and then I've just been dipping them down in there because <clears throat> it's just a perfect size. I always like to let mine set on there for a minute and then tap it off. And then you see what we have. All right. And some of these, um, if they don't melt, if they melt real, um, say not very good coverage, while it's still hot, I can dip it back in there <clears throat> and get another coat and heat it until it gets to, you know, to be fully covered. So let's heat this one. Be careful if you do this. If you're afraid, put the lid back on, <laughs> out of the way, because you don't want the heat to get to that and make one big blob of melted plastic. And that's all that this is. All right. So let me scoot you in just a little bit if you haven't seen this. Whoops. Wrong way. Okay. Mm -hmm. So all embossing powder is is little granules of plastic. And when you heat them up, of course you, you can see how it starts to change shiny. Can you see? Okay. As soon as it's all shiny, then you're done. Can you see? And that's not all that's not at all what I expected out of this. It's pretty. I do like it, but it's just I wouldn't have imagined that. So very nice. <clears throat> I'll put the lid back on this. And that one's done. Let's see. There's some of these that have, we'll try that one. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to do them all, but um, some of these have different size pieces in there. And some of them are really light. Some of them that have glitter, um, that glitter is really light. So what you want to do on those is heat them from the bottom so that way you don't blow it all away. Okay, and I'll show you one of those. Oh, look at this. Any guesses what that's going to look like? That's gorgeous. Okay, pick this up. Lid back on that. And Versamark is a sticky, clear ink. Okay. Wow. That has tons of color in it. Very pretty. All right. Let's heat this up. Okay. And when you can see it change, where it gets shiny, you want to move. See, there it goes. Very cool. So this is just... So that gives it... Look at that. I love that, which is totally different. See, so you really don't know. That's why it's a good idea to do this. So if you spend an hour, even two hours, doing this, and you can just open up your drawer and you can see all of these, wouldn't it gonna save you a ton of time? Yeah, a ton of time. So I'm spending the time now to do this. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see what this one's gonna do. Um. I'm spending the time now to get this done because I, I hate, oh, with a passion, I hate to look and hunt for things because then I get out of the mood and I won't go on to something else and I start another project and it's just, you know, and I know you can feel me. I know you, you guys and girls do the same thing. Tap that off. We'll see how this does. We may do a second coat, but who knows? We'll see how it melts. <clears throat> you can see the 
And this has different colors in it too. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, starting to go. See it there on the edges? And there it goes. Hold it for just another second or two. Make sure. Look at that. Another gorgeous one. Wouldn't have thought. So, if you spend a little time now doing this, you'll spend a lot less time later hunting and saying bad words and being frustrated. And see, look, I already I have those done. So isn't it easier to look at the top of this and go, oh, I want that one, I want that one, and then you're good to go. The reason, I know you're probably wondering, especially if you're new to my channel, why do I have so many embossing powders? Well, I bought a crafter's estate. I work at a scrapbook store and I had someone call and his wife had passed away and she had a lot of scrapbooking stuff, paper crafting things, and he wanted to get rid of it, didn't know anything about it. And of course at the store we don't do that. So I called him later and we visited. Long story short, we ended up working something out and I bought his wife's crafting estate. And he was thrilled that it was going to go to a place that would love it and take care of it. And yes, there there are um, lots of stuff that I'm selling. Um, a lot of stuff I'm keeping. But when you consider there were over 2,000 wooden stamps and machines and embossing powders and dyes and stamps and you name it. And, and it was a stroke of luck, a stroke struck a stroke of luck that we have similar tastes I mean there are some beauties there are some um, a lot of this a lot of this stuff was not used and um, just absolute jewels in this collection and it is a collection um, so if you're interested I, I sell my stuff on mccary.com and I'll leave the link below um, <clears throat> so I need to be posting some stuff now, but, um, anyway, there is beautiful portraits of women, there's uh, steampunk, there's, uh, you name it, there's house mouse, um, just all kinds of stuff. Um, but anyway, that's where I got a lot of this embossing powder, uh, was from her. And, um... I use a lot of embossing powder. I love all this variety, and um, so we'll just see what happens. But anyway, so that's why I have a lot of embossing powder and a lot of other things too. But anyway, let's do this one, and then we will... Let's do this one real quick. Let's see, there it goes, starting to change. Magic, oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Gorgeous. A lot prettier than what I thought. All right. So think about it. Not just this, but maybe your stamps, maybe something that, you know, frustrates you because you have to look, look, look for, for things. Spend a little time getting it together. And uh, I think in the long run, you'll be a lot happier. So if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. And uh, until next time, bye for now.